I still see a lot of people asking how to use the Easy Wizard 3 bot, so today I'm going to be showing you what you need to do to use it just for your basic everyday needs. A big misconception people get is that using a ping means that the bot is currently on an active. This just means that the bot is connected to the PlayStation 4 itself. Another command you're going to need to run before you get started is my account ID. So this is going to ask you to put in your PSN name and once you do that, the bot is now linked to your PlayStation account. So from here, you're going to want to insert your flash drive, go to the settings and scroll down to save data and game app settings. From here, you'll see that you cannot copy any of your PS5 save data, but you can copy your PS4 save data if you are on a PS5. So to do that, we would just upload and copy it to USB. B. So here we're going to take our saves, select them, and go ahead and copy them to our flash drive. Now if you're on a PlayStation 4, what you're going to do is scroll up to settings and find your way down to application save data management, then click save data in the system storage and copy it to USB device, select your game, and copy your save data. Once you plug your flash drive back into the device you're using, either a PC or mobile, you will find your PS4 folder save data and you'll see it this weird looking folder name now if you notice this is the uh, same exact numbers that you got whenever you use the uh, my account ID this is just showing that this is the account that is linked and inside we will find our uh, CUSA files so every uh, game has a, a different CUSA file not all games are technically a uh, CUSA however every uh, game will have the same thing it will be the uh, save file and a uh, dot n so uh, to uh, use this what we're going to do is make sure that we only have one save in our CUSA file when we do this. So we're just going to take out these saves and drag them to the last folder, which they're still here. Now what we can do is right click and send to a compress up since this is the save that we're editing. Now we also have a backup, keep in mind here of our original save so you might not always want to delete this but you might want to rename it after we do what we do next so now back on discord what we're going to do is do a slash file to url and now we can drag and drop that zipped folder here so now that we've drag and dropped it we just press enter and now we have a link so what we can do is just copy this link what we're going to do it next is decrypt our game save now there is two ways to decrypt really there is the advanced mode export and then there is a raw decrypt folder so basically the difference is only really use advanced if it is supported it removes a second layer of encryption if games have it not every game is supported so for our game here it doesn't matter it will give us actually both the same if we do raw decrypted and advanced mode as there isn't a supported removal of the second layer of encryption for borderlands 2 so just to show you that it works regardless we're going to do advanced mode export since most people are going to be probably using this for gta 5 anyway for the save file we're just going to to paste the link that we got here. If there's only one file, you can have it give it back in a uh, unzipped file or you can uh, keep it zipped. I know that this only has one and the game isn't here, so it is not needed here. We can just press enter since we're not going to need any of these other commands. You might need file name P if your save contains multiple files, such as something like Diablo 3. However, again, you should just be using the raw decrypt for that. And now that our file is done, we can now download this by clicking it, opening a save in a hex editor. You might notice that this is still on readable. However, this format is what is supported for something like the Borderlands save editor. So it is very important to know to use one or the other command when it comes to a decryption note majority of the time you're going to need to use the raw decrypt so once we're done editing our save what we do again is just run that command back we would use the import command this time so here you can see that we have the save files however we can upload our save file now so again we can just do the file to a url drag and drop our decrypted save and then just upload it now you see we have a, another url so now we have a two links which one is our encrypted save and one is our decrypted save let's keep that in mind here so let's use the advanced mode import so what we do here for the save files is take our encrypted save so we're going to copy that link 
put it here. Go to account ID, type in our account, or we're just going to put zero here because we already did the my account ID. Now the uh, download link single is our save here. So we're just going to paste that. And the game, again, we didn't add one of these games. So if it's not here, don't worry about it. And we just hit enter. And now you can see we have got a zip file in return. So we're going to download this zip file. And we can see here that there is a, another PS4 folder. So we're just going to go back to the root of our flash drive and drag and drop this folder here and replace the files in our destination. Now our PS4 save is our edited PS4 save. Hey, a lot of the encryption and decryption stuff, you're going to want to basically just be using the same thing with the raw encrypt something like folder type 2. It's going to be a, a lot more basic and it's going to support multiple files. So if you have like a Diablo 3 save with a, a file list of characters, this is when you're going to be using the raw encrypt folder type 2. So the majority of people are going to be coming to uh, download saves from somewhere online like Player Squared Next Gen Update or even my own GitHub. So what you would normally do is either Google search your Kusa version or you would Google what you're looking for in the game. So so once you download your save since it's already zipped, all you have to do is do a file to a URL, drag and drop our zip file in, press enter, and now we do a slash resign, copy the link, use that for a save file, and for the account ID, since we already linked it, we will do a zero. And now you would have a new save that is resigned to your account. People are constantly use this to convert saves from a PS4 to PC. However, not every game is gonna be this easy. A lot of the times you will need a secondary tool to convert something or remove or add something to it. So as you can see here, the real thing that you have to do to convert your saves is literally just rename it. If renaming your saves don't work, that usually just means there is a secondary layer of encryption. So make sure to always back up your saves when you're doing this. As far as putting the save back on your console again, what you're going to do is do the same thing. Go to settings find application save data management go to save data on a usb storage device and copy it to system storage and same for a playstation 5 go to settings find save data and a game app settings ps4 and copy or delete from usb and we can copy our save data to our console again 